right now, though, I want to welcome to the program Devin DeGraffenried uh, from St. Helens, Oregon. Devin, thank you for coming on the show. Uh, thank you, Cam. Yeah, uh, listen, uh, f- followed your story uh, about the, the rifle raffle there in St. Helens, Oregon. Um, sounds like it was a, a, a real success for you all. Um, it was an amazing success. Um, the, a friend of mine, uh, he happens to be an FFL and he, he, he mentioned that maybe, um, we were looking, you know, we're, our community is, um, we're a small community out here in Oregon, uh, in St. Helens. And, you know, quite, quite simply, it's been, this last recession's hit it hard. We've lost, uh, a lumber mill a few years ago and then, and then just here at the start of the year, our, our major pulp, pulp paper mill closed down. And, uh, you know, so, you know, needless to say, the community is hurting and this and that. And our fields and, 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 and the conditions that our girls play in were, you know, they're, it's terrible. So we were just looking. We've done the traditional fundraisers, and we do them every year. And, you know, you end up spinning your wheels and spinning your wheels and, so he threw this out as something to do. You know, he said, you know, the AR-15 right now, it's a, it's a hot item to get a hold of. It's a hard rifle to get your hands on. And he says, you, if you want to make some money, let's do this. And mm-hmm. I said, you know, I'm a president of the girls' softball league, and, and I thought about it. And, you know, is there going to be um, maybe a little backlash on it? And I said, I thought, well, yes. But, you know, ultimately the goal of our of us and our community you know the the people that are on the board, and we're, we're there helping the girls. You right. know, uh, for, for goodness, we, we have three fields that we have to maintain um, at this Boise at the place, the mill that closed down. In the years that they were running, they they actually allowed us their property to, and, and through donations and, and and volunteer support, we built three softball fields there. But you know, now with them closing, this this is a question that's up in the air. We don't know. We had to sign a lease this year. Uh, because now Boise is not there anymore, and so the the field use after this year is up in question for us. So we're kind of panicking, and we, but those fields back to that, we don't have equipment, proper equipment to maintain them. Um, you know, as far as tractors, you know, uh, uh, a riding lawnmower. Right. You know, I've actually brought my own push mower down there to mow out spots for the girls to play. Uh, so that was my goal. I only took over as president. Um, this is actually my first full season. I, I kind of was kind of thrown into my lap. Last year at the start of the season, the, the, the acting president just resigned. Um, and so, you know, kind of I was just the field maintenance guy, and I told him, hey, I'll do the field maintenance for you, but I'm not going to do it with rakes and shovels. You know, we need to get some equipment here. you got three fields to maintain. I can't do this with rakes and shovels. You know, and uh, so that since has been my goal in last year, kind of seeing the process of the fundraising and the registration fees. You just spin your wheel. It's a hamster wheel. And so I wanted an infusion of cash. And I said, you know what? We'll get some backlash, but let's do this. Cam, I got to tell you, the the easiest raffle I've ever done in my life. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, you know, we're in Oregon. Um, we, there are people that like to hunt. You know, uh, every other house you go to is going to have rifles, pistols. You know, it's just what it is. Right. It's girls softball. It's it's rifles. It's little league. It's apple pie. It's America. It's what, it's what we do. You got it exactly. Um, so so I got to ask you because I saw this story from KATU. Uh, there was one uh, individual quoted uh, Betty, uh, who who said that um, uh, it was very successful and you know they could do this twenty more times and it would be. But at the cost of how your community feels, and I gotta, I gotta say, Devin, I mean, to me, if she's admitting you guys could do twenty more of these uh, and, and be just as successful, that tells me the community feels like you do. Like this is helping these little girls enjoy their softball league. Um, and I, and I, and you know, I can't speak for the whole community, but I, I can speak for the fact that we have had, um, you know, a, a huge amount of support. I was um shocked when the news stations and it wasn't just katu you know katu it was uh, we have a two a six and an eight and a 12 just probably like everybody else across the nation Mm -hmm. they all were at my house you know and and so i said i'll meet you down at the field because their big question uh asked me was why why would you choose that item to raffle 
And, you know, Cam, I just had to take him out there and show him. I said, you want to see why? Um, and the, the proof was right there in front of them. Our, our softball team that should be practicing was out there with, with rakes, with, with shovels, and with, with squeegees. And we were clear, they're clearing the field of water because we don't have ad- adequate drainage. You know, and instead of ha- having a softball practice, um, they're the girls on the team are doing field maintenance, right? You know? And I said that's this is why I did it. I, and and so uh, honestly, the community does support us. Yes, I, and there and, I, and that's not so not for you know there are one or two um, or a couple that that <laughs> don't, but but overall and overwhelmingly supported. Well, I, I, you know, I had the feeling that that was probably the case. Um, and, and so, you know, you raised uh, about $2,000, which I'm sure is going to go a long way towards uh, helping out what you need. Um, have you thought about doing another one of these raffles, Dev? Uh, yeah, the news, um, you know, they kind of put me right on the spot that day, and I didn't know what to expect. And, and the gal asked me from the news station, you know, do you, do you, would you do this again? And, and I looked at her and I said, yes, I would, I would do it again. And, um, and I wanted to stress and I want your, your listeners to understand this as well. Um, you know, the girls, we never asked the girls to sell any of the tickets. The girls, as a matter of fact, didn't even know of the raffle. This was, this was something that I brought to my coaches at a coach's clinic. And I said, coaches, here's a raffle we're going to do, take some tickets to sell it. It, you know, and if a coach didn't want to take an envelope to sell the, the raffle tickets, I didn't. It wasn't even a second thought. So, so just just so people understand, this was not something that, you know, we made it look like uh, the girls were going around knocking on doors. You know, buy my buy my rifle. You know, it wasn't that wasn't the case at all. <laughs> right. You no, know, this was coach adult adult to adult. You know, and um, and quite frankly, the kids and our you know a lot of the kids. Um, or just they don't understand what the what the bickering is all about. Either, well, so. you know that's the thing. And and Devin, we talked with a uh, woman out in Illinois who who has an FFL, and uh, she and her husband donated a rifle to the local little league uh, to raffle off. And and again, you know, the vast majority of the community thought this was a great idea because they understood that this was about kids. This wasn't about you. You weren't. You weren't. I understand. I mean, you weren't trying to say we're going to send a pro Second Amendment message here. Here's an item that is in high demand. You were going through all of the proper legal channels. There shouldn't be any controversy over this. There actually should be a lot of stories written about what a and, and, and you know shown on local television about what a great, inventive, creative thing you did to raise money for this girls' softball league. But you know, you get one or two people complaining, and all of a sudden the uh, focus of the story changes. Well, and, and that's exactly it. And, you know, and I mentioned earlier when we were talking about the mill closing and this and that, well, part of, part of all that, you know, lost revenue, it, it, it trickles out to the schools in our, sure. our junior high school system, which is 8th grade, you know, 8th, 7th, and 6th grade. Well, about four years ago, they pulled all the, they pulled all the, the junior high school school-funded po- sports programs so all that went to private clubs as well. So, so the fundraising and the sponsorship that you go to your small, small businesses for, in our small community, we're a community of 7,000. So our small businesses, not only, you know, usually just encompassing, you know, which was the girls' softball and maybe the little league of, uh, of the, the, the town and, and maybe your soccer clubs, now they've, they've taken on all the junior high school club programs who come to the small businesses and they're like, hey, we need sponsorship money. And I'm personal friends with, with the small business owners in town. And, you know, I feel I have got to the point where I feel bad asking them for sponsorship because they're getting hammered. It's like they're looking to, to pick up the slack to fund all of these kids' youth programs. And we yeah, we needed something different, Cam. And would I do it again? You're absolutely right. As a matter of fact, we have one. We have a raffle already. Uh, we're going to do another one. We know we're going to do it in about two weeks. The, the winner of the, this week's raffle, well, I'll tell you how successful it was. We, we started on Saturday with the raffle. We were only going to raffle 330 tickets. Yeah. On Monday afternoon, I had friends calling asking for tickets, and I'm, I had to tell them, I'm sorry, I was sold out. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, well, listen, Devin, when you when you kick off the next raffle, 
Mm-hmm. Let me know because I want to buy a couple of tickets, and if I win, I want to re-donate the rifle so you can raffle it off again. Hey, you know what, Tam? That is uh, awesome and generous, and I will absolutely uh, be in contact contact with you to let you know when the next raffle will be. It's going to be for, uh, I think, the same similar, similar rifle, so... Um, new out of the box, never shot. So um, it's it's good. It's it's a nice little it's a nice little ri- rifle. I was an Air Force guy for four years, yeah. so you know I had the automatic version. I I used to get a play with in in the Air Force, so this is a semi-automatic, and it's a nice little shooter. I got to tell you, um, nice rifle. Um, yeah, and that's great. Hey, Cam, can I? I we've had a lot of the the, the, the feedback has been so positive and people are do want to donate and they are willing to help us out. So I do have uh a place that people want to send donations if they want to use sure. right. Yeah, you bet. Okay, so um uh we're this we're in Saint Helens, so the Saint Helens Community um Federal Credit Union, so it's the Saint Helens Federal Credit Union. And uh, if they want to call and make a donation and help our league and the girls really helping the girls. Uh, the number is 503-397-2376, and then there's an account number that goes with that. Um, it's one two three eight six six four. Um, maybe I can leave that information with you guys too, if sure. they want to get a hold of your show or something like that. Your producer can help us out on that. So. No problem. Hey, listen, Devin. I uh, thank you again for coming on the show, and uh, yeah, uh, stay in touch. I want to know about the next raffle, okay? Well, absolutely will do. All right, man. Thank you again. Have a great weekend. All right. Thank you, Cam. You have a great weekend, too. God bless America. God bless America. Devin DeGraff and Reed.